I've never seen anywhere in the world as beautiful as Kashmir. It has something to do with the fact that the valley is very small and the mountains are very big, so you have this miniature countryside surrounded by the Himalayas, and it's just spectacular. And it's true, the people are very beautiful too. Vertigo is the conflict between the fear of falling and the desire to fall. What is freedom of expression? Without the freedom to offend, it ceases to exist. There is no such thing as perfect security, only varying levels of insecurity. I do think of Bombay as my hometown. Those are the streets I walked when I was learning to walk. And it's the place that my imagination has returned to more than anywhere else. Most of what matters in your life takes place in your absence. At the height of the British Empire very few English novels were written that dealt with British power. It's extraordinary that at the moment in which England was the global superpower the subject of British power appeared not to interest most writers. I'm not a prophet, but I always thought it was natural for dictatorships to fall. I remember in 1989, two months before the fall of the Berlin Wall, had you said it was going to happen no one would have believed you. The system seemed powerful and unbreakable. Suddenly overnight it blew away like dust. Perhaps because my relationship with my father went through such a long, bumpy time, it's been very important for me to work to try to keep lines of communication open between my sons and myself to try to avoid my father's mistakes. At least if you're making mistakes, make different mistakes. I used to say, there is a God-shaped hole in me. For a long time I stressed the absence, the hole. Now I find it is the shape which has become more important. It is often said by religious people that without its framework, there is no sense of right or wrong. My view is that religion comes after ethics. Free speech is the whole thing, the whole ball game. Free speech is life itself. An attack upon our ability to tell stories is not just censorship, it is a crime against our nature as human beings. One of the extraordinary things about human events is that the unthinkable becomes thinkable. Sometimes great, banned works defy the censor's description and impose themselves on the world, Ulysses, Lolita, the Arabian Nights. British society has never been cleansed of the filth of imperialism. The only thing worse than a bad review from the Ayatollah Khomeini would be a good review from the Ayatollah Khomeini. In television, the 60-minute series, The Wire and Mad Men and so on, the writer is the primary creative artist. Self-censorship is a lie to yourself, if you are going to be trying to seriously create art, to create literary art, and you decide to hold back, to censor yourself, then you are a fool to yourself and it would be better that you kept your mouth shut and did not speak. Mo Yan is the Chinese equivalent of the Soviet Russian operatic writer Mikhail Shalahov, a patsy of the regime. I hate admitting that my enemies have a point. Normally when I read, I don't like music playing. Two things form the bedrock of any open society, freedom of expression and rule of law. If you don't have those things, you don't have a free country. A book is a version of the world. If you do not like it, ignore it, or offer your own version in return. The satanic verses was denied the ordinary life of a novel. It became something smaller and uglier, an insult. Memory is a way of telling you what's important to you. What one writer can make in the solitude of one room is something no power can easily destroy. I've been fascinated by Machiavelli since I was very young. I've always felt that he had a bad rap from history, and that he was actually a person quite unlike what we now think of as Machiavellian. He was a Republican. He disliked totalitarian government. The Muslim population in India is, largely speaking, not radicalized. From the beginning, they were always very secular-minded. War used to be something you could stand on the nearby hill and watch. Now we have total war, everybody's in it. We have total economics as well. Everything affects everybody. The Malaysian currency shakes, and people around the world are seriously affected. 
You can take the boy out of Bombay, you can't take Bombay out of the boy, you know. A poet's work is to name the unnameable, to point at frauds, to take sides, start arguments, shape the world, and stop it going to sleep. Sometimes legends make reality, and become more useful than the facts. Hyperrealism can create an atmosphere of surrealism because nobody sees the world in such detail. Out-of-step intellectuals like Noam Chomsky and the deceased Edward said have often been dismissed as crazy extremists, anti-American, and in Mr. Saeed's case even, absurdly, as apologists for Palestinian terrorism. I don't like books that play to the gallery, but I've become more concerned with telling a story as clearly and engagingly as I can.